everybody today i'm going to be walking you through how to crochet the cluster dishcloth this is such a fun little dishcloth pattern and i hope that you enjoy following along so let's go ahead and get started i'm going to be using knit picks or we crochet dishy multi in the colorway sailboat and then a four and a half millimeter crochet hook i will link all of these materials as well as the written pattern um both free and paid versions down in the description box below so I'm going to go ahead and get started um, with this pattern with a slip knot, just like so. Place that on our hook, and you can chain any even number. I'm going to be chaining 26 stitches for the sample, and that is the size that is listed in the pattern as well. Um, but as long as it's an even number, it doesn't matter um, what number that you choose to chain. So I'm going to chain 26 stitches. Alrighty, there's my 26 stitches of the chain, of my foundation chain, and now I'm going to begin row one. This is going to be our setup row, so I'm going to work a single crochet into the second chain from the hook. So skip this very first chain, work a single crochet into the next, chain one, and we're going to skip the next chain, and then work a single crochet into the one after that. And we're going to repeat that all the way across, so skip the next stitch chain one, we go single crochet into the following stitch. Skip the next stitch, chain one, we go single crochet into the following stitch. And we're going to repeat that all the way across, skipping one, chaining one, working a single crochet into the following stitch. Alrighty, there's row, row one, and here's what our um, dishcloth should look like so far. It doesn't look like much yet, that's for sure. <laughs> for row two, we are going to begin our repeat. So we're going to repeat two rows for the entirety of our dishcloth, and this is going to be the first one. So we are going to chain two and turn. We're going to work a double crochet in this very first stitch. So yarn over and work a double crochet. And then we're going to work a cluster in this chain one space. And for this pattern, the cluster is just a double crochet two together. So we're going to yarn over insert your hook into that chain one space and pull up a loop yarn over pull through two loops and stop and then do that once more yarn over insert your hook and pull up a loop yarn over pull through two loops and then we're going to yarn over and pull through all three loops on the hook so that's just a simple a double crochet two together and that's going to be our cluster for the entirety of this pattern and then we're going to chain one skip this single crochet stitch and go immediately into the next chain one space with another cluster so again that's a double crochet two together yarn over insert your hook pull up a loop and pull through two loops repeat that again and then yarn over pull through all three loops and we're just going to repeat that all the way across um until we have one chain space remaining so i'm just working a double crochet two together chain one and then go into the next chain one space okay i have one chain one space remaining i'm going to chain one and work another cluster into that last chain one space so just a double crochet two together and then i'm not going to chain one after this last cluster i'm simply going to double crochet into this very last single crochet stitch so i'm just going to insert my hook into that and work a double crochet and that is it for row two, which is our first row that we're going to repeat. And now we're going to move on to row three. We're going to chain one and turn. And we're going to work a single crochet in this first stitch. And then um, chain one. Skip the double crochet two together or the cluster. And we're going to work a single crochet into this chain one space. And we're going to repeat that all the way down. So chain one, work a single crochet into the next chain one space, chain one, work a single crochet into the next chain one space. We're going to repeat that until we have two stitches remaining, which is going to be our last cluster and then the um, very first double crochet stitch that we did on the previous row. So again, I'm just chaining one and then working a single crochet into each chain one space. And there's my last one. And now I am just going to chain one, skip this next stitch, and then work a single crochet into that last stitch. So basically just kind of treating this final double crochet as our chain one space. And then we're gonna repeat rows two and three. 
until our dishcloth is square. So I'm going to show you them both one more time. For row two, we're going to chain two and turn, work a double crochet into this first stitch, work a cluster into the next chain one space, double crochet two together, chain one, and then work a cluster in each chain one space. Chain one, work another cluster into the next chain two space, or chain one space, excuse me. Chain one. And we're going to repeat this all the way across until we have one chain one space remaining. It's kind of a tongue twister. Alrighty, I have one chain one space remaining. I'm going to chain one, work a cluster into that last chain one space. And then instead of chaining one, we're just going to work a double crochet into that last stitch. And then for row three, we're going to chain one and turn, work a single crochet into this first stitch, chain one, work a single crochet into the next chain one space, all the way across. Chain one, single crochet into the chain one space. Chain one, single crochet into the chain one space. I really love this stitch because you can very quickly kind of get into a rhythm of just working in those chain one spaces. And, it, and there's just something so therapeutic about it being a small project and enjoying the stitch. I love it. Alrighty, so there's my last chain one space. And then I'm going to chain one, skip this last cluster stitch, and work a single crochet into that last stitch. And that is all there is to it. So we're just going to repeat rows two and three until our dishcloth is square. Great way to know when that happens. I'm going to pull out this one that I finished. When you can fold it diagonally and it forms a perfect triangle, you know that it is square. So you can also measure, but this is a much quicker way. Um, and you don't have to have a tape measure with you or anything like that. So I'm going to go finish up this dish cloth. Um, continue repeating again rows two and three until it's square. And I'll meet you back here to work the single crochet border. Alrighty, I just finished the um, body of my dishcloth, if you will. I'm ready to work the single crochet border now. You can totally stop here and weave in your ends. Um, it's totally up to you. I just like adding a little border to kind of finish it off neatly. So all we're going to do is place one round of single crochet around the entirety of our dishcloth. We're going to do that um, by simply going from right where we are. So we just finished our row three repeat, we're going to chain one and turn our work. And then we're going to start single crocheting all the way around our dishcloth. Now the key here is to keep it even so that our dishcloth lays nice and flat um, and keeps that square shape. You know, we're not trying to add stitches to make it, um, you know, ripply in any way. So you might find that you skip a chain space here and there. Um, you might find that you don't work, um, you know, more, many stitches into every single row. And just kind of place your hook wherever you think that it should go. There's not really a right or a wrong, wrong way to do it. Alrighty, so I'm going to start with single crocheting. I'm going to skip this first stitch actually because I know that um, if I place a stitch here, it's going to make the corner a little bit more likely to curl up. So I'm going to work a single crochet into this chain one space. I'm going to work a stitch into that next stitch. And I'm just going to repeat this across. I'm going to skip this next stitch. Sometimes you'll notice that with um, when you're working a single crochet and then chain and skip a stitch, if you were to single crochet in every single stitch and chain across, it'll change up your gauge just a little bit and add more stitches than um, you kind of meant to, even if, anyways, even if it is the same number. Goodness, I can't talk. Um, so just again, kind of place your hook where you think it should go. I'm just skipping a stitch every now and then. Um, you, your gauge might be a little bit different. You might want to place a stitch into every stitch and chain. It's totally up to you. So I'm just going to keep single crocheting around the entirety of my dishcloth here. Once I get to a corner, I'm going to work three single crochets into it. So I'm almost at a corner now have this last stitch here. I'm going to work three single crochets into that last corner stitch and then I'm going to start working down the side. I'm aiming to place about two single crochet stitches per double crochet row which is right here and then one stitch in each single crochet row. So here's a double crochet. I'm going to place two stitches into that and then one into the single crochet row. 
and I'm going to just keep crocheting all the way around my dishcloth. Alrighty, so I just finished crocheting around my dishcloth. I ended with placing two more single crochet stitches into this corner. And now I'm just going to slip stitch to that very first stitch and cut my yarn. And then we can weave in our ends and our dishcloth is complete. I absolutely love how this pattern turned out. I hope that you had so much fun making your dishcloth along with me and that you enjoy using it. And I will see you all again next time. Make sure to subscribe and then hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed this tutorial.